Hello there people, um, my name is Glenn, um, this channel is called Glenn Art Stuffs. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be looking at this uh, Noodler's, um, Noodler's Black, uh, Bulletproof Black Ink. And uh, this is actually a fountain pen ink, but um, mainly what I'm going to do actually in this video, in this video what I want to explore is uh, how good it is when you dip a brush in it and uh, can you do nice kind of ink brush pictures with uh, with this ink the watercolour brush in the ink jar dip it in the, uh, the water and then just kind of brush it up against the side of the water a little bit just on the side of the so like uh, this bit here, just above the waterline, you can kind of brush the brush against there a little bit, and then uh, you can uh, use that to. Uh, and as you can see, that gives a, a lighter value this time. Go. Cool. Okay, so I guess the. Uh the main thing that we would have to discuss really when it comes to um, using Noodler's ink to kind of uh, paint, so to speak. I mean, I don't know if paint's the right word really because, um, I mean, obviously the ink isn't really paint, but you know, um, use the ink on a, on a brush um, like this. Um, I think the main thing we'd have to discuss in order to like really review the ink in this in this kind of setting and being used for this kind of purpose is uh, how different is this ink to uh, other types of ink that you might use for um, kind of drawing with an ink brush is what is how I'm going to describe it um, and um, I would say that the 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 main difference is that just how like it it's it's slightly thinner than um something like india ink for example um so it's um when you lay it down on the paper um i think it's it's kind of easier to to kind of fade it a little bit so like for example um you can't see it now because at the minute what I'm just doing is I'm just kind of basically trying to sketch out the the basic shape so I'm using a very very light um, a very very kind of light coating of ink here so what I'm what I'm using on my brush now is like mainly water pretty much because I'm just trying to get the uh, the basic shapes down um, but um, in a while um, you'll see me kind of use the ink and it's kind of it's it's darker form and um i think it's not hugely different to india ink like i think if you if you liked um if you liked painting with india ink you would probably like um painting with this ink as well um but i think i prefer this ink a little bit more to the black india ink um and um the reason for that is well for a start i think the noodler's inks you can get them in more colors than you can get india ink i think india ink is pretty much just uh black or or kind of like a brown color i think you can get some blues as well um i used to think that uh, the winsor and newton drawing inks um were all like different colors of india ink um but i've found out since then that actually only the black ink in that in that set of Windsor and Newton drawing inks is actually india ink um and the uh, the other ones are are kind of just other types of ink which apparently aren't um they're not archival um so that's the reason why i've been kind of experimenting with actually using the noodler's ink in the same way that i used to use those um those Windsor and Newton drawing inks is because um I've kind of ordered some more. I originally just got this Noodler's ink um, to put inside a fountain pen, 
Um, but uh, my original experiments with it, um, with a with a with a brush, um, were just just that really, just experiments. Um, but uh, but now I'm messing around with it a little bit more because I'm kind of looking to use these uh, kind of noodlers fountain pen inks a little bit more in my uh, you know my uh, my pictures where I where I where I apply the ink with with a brush um, and um, I've got to say I I I, I like them um, what was what, what was the thing again yeah. Um, this ink is um, apparently supposed to be um, kind of like a long, a long-lasting ink. It's uh, it's it's apparently supposed to be archival, and um, it's um, it's completely waterproof. So you can use it in the way that you use India ink. So if I wanted to, for example, watercolor over the top of this um, after it's dried. Um, and not risk um, kind of damaging this uh, this this picture that I've done um, with the uh, with the uh, with the ink here. Um, I could do that, um, and it and it would it would stay put. So it's it's good for that purpose. Um, but uh, but when it's when it's wet, which you can see there, I just put like a, a drop of pure ink on there. Um, when it's wet, you can still kind of manipulate it so if you put like a big uh, kind of lump of very dark black ink you can kind of get some some water on your brush and you can kind of uh, you know brush the uh, the black a little bit just to kind of lower the value a little bit make it a little bit less dark if you want to so it's very it's very durable in that way it's very uh, it's very good in that sense um, and like I said, I think it's a bit more. It 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 feels like a bit of a thinner ink, a bit more of a thin ink than uh, than India ink, um, which is obviously, I mean, that's obviously why you can put it in a fountain pen. You know, it's designed to go on a fountain pen, and you can't, you can't put India ink in a fountain pen because it's too, it's too thick to kind of to to go in a fountain pen without, without potentially clogging up the fountain pen. Um, I think people can put India ink in fountain pens when they, uh, if they, if they're willing to um, kind of immediately empty the ink back out of the fountain pen, like as soon as they've finished, um, you know, doing one drawing, you know. So if you were gonna do a, a picture in a fountain pen with India ink, I've I have heard that some people some people say that you can do that as long as you kind of like immediately empty the 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 India ink out of the fountain pen again, um, and kind of clean the fountain pen very well after after you've used it. But um, uh, I wouldn't recommend that to be honest. I think that uh, it just sounds very very risky to me. It sounds like it might damage your fountain pen. And plus, I'm not sure if it's true because I think I think I think you'd probably find that um, you'd probably find that. Uh, that the ink didn't really flow very well out of the fountain pen or something so yeah so don't try that so if you are going to put ink in a fountain pen yeah use use something like this like the like the noodlers black the noodlers bulletproof black um don't use india ink um <laughs> didn't you didn't need to watch a video to know that though did you um but um but anyway what was that what was that what was that a tangent from again sorry right yeah because we're talking about how the how this this ink reacts on a brush um, and I think that when you when you put it on the paper with a brush I think you can you can really feel that um, difference in um, how thick it is um, so it's kind of nice to, to use in that way it's 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 a little bit of a thinner um, brush it gives it I mean sorry it's a little bit of a thinner ink it gives a nice uh, thinner much thinner coating um, and um, and yeah I would I would I would highly recommend using it with a brush as well. I would highly recommend not just uh, not just purely seeing it as a fountain pen ink and and kind of maybe trying something like this, with like what I've done here. Um, now this picture is done. This is this is 
a pub in Newcastle called the Trent House. Um, it's a picture of that. And uh, how I did this picture was by basically just finding the Trent House on Google Maps, on the street view of Google Maps, and just basically... Um, you can't see in this picture, but um, but just off screen, I had like a, a, a um, on my, I had a laptop um, where I had kind of the the street view of the Trent House, and um, I was kind of the the frame that I'm using on this uh, in this picture is slightly wider than the frame that you could get in Google Maps um, because what I was doing was I was kind of, you know, in Google Maps you can kind of turn your head, you can you can move the image around and kind of, you know, look around and move it around in 360 degrees and things. Um, and that's basically how I was doing this, uh, this picture. Um, it's a little bit different to my usual artwork because uh, if anyone's ever seen any of my other videos before, um, you'll know that I don't tend to just copy straight from from a picture very often. Um, I tend to either do uh, pictures like on location of doing things on location, or um, or I tend to 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 kind of create uh, imagery from just straight from my imagination. So um, if you have seen this uh, this channel before, you know, and you're thinking like, well, this is a bit a little bit different to the the artwork that I usually see uh, Glenn doing, um, then yeah, that's that's right. It is different because um, because I'm copying I'm copying from a from Google Street View, um, and I don't usually copy from from imagery. So um, yeah, um, and uh, for this picture, I just I, as you could see before, I just uh, I didn't uh, pencil it out or anything. I just kind of basically started sketching with a, a very lightly with the ink kind of very heavily diluted and very light light and then um and then I just kind of darkened it up where I needed to darken it up to create the values and uh this is the finished picture and uh yeah I'm pretty happy with it. Um um I wanna kind of experiment a bit more with this type of this type of uh ink painting. Um I think I could get a lot better. There's definitely room for improvement. Um and uh yeah so um if you liked this video um why not consider just i don't know clicking on my channel and having a look at some of my other videos um and just uh see if you like them and then uh i mean usually i ask people to subscribe in in this actual you know in the actual video but uh instead of that actually i'm just going to ask you to just just go on my channel and have a look at some of my other videos and see what you think, you know. Um, see if you like them. Um, and obviously, I'm happy to hear the comments on, on this video, you know. Um, if you've got any questions about the Noodler's Inc., feel free to ask them. And uh, click the like button if you like the if you like the video. And, uh, and um, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.